So let's start at the beginning. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And Pentacles are Earth signs. So that is uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And this does feel like a person. It could be uh, someone in a male Earth suit or a female Earth suit. But, you know, the Queen of Pentacles... She's very earthy. She's very loving, nurturing, maternal. Um, but it does feel like this is a person that maybe gave you a hand, uh, gave you a help, a little bit of help when you needed it. And it was kind of unexpected and maybe a little out of character for that person. But it does look like you were able to open your heart and at, either ask for help or be able to receive help from this person. So this is a queen of pentacles and it does feel like she or he is um, really uh, nurturing you a bit and supporting you emotionally can be even giving you a loan, something like that. But this is a person that stepped up when you really needed it. It is in the uh, present time position. So it might be something that's happening right now. What crosses you is the seven. This is the seven of pentacles. This is kind of like trying to figure out what your next step is. So it does feel like there's been a big shift in your life in the last couple of months. And now you're trying to figure out where you go next. You have a whole bunch of options, may not look all that attractive to you. And this may be about finding a new job, a new uh, place to live. Uh, but it does look like you've kind of revamped your life over the last couple of months and you're trying to figure out your next step. So you're, it does look like you're collecting information. This may be applying to jobs or thinking about what you want to do in your future when you grow up. So that is, and I meant that in a funny way, not in a, in a disrespectful way. <laughs> anyway, um, here we have, this is the eight of cups and it does look like it this is in the upper area so this is the essence of what's going on so it does look like you had to walk away from something or take a leap of faith and just walk into the unknown whether it's you know moving to another city whether it was quitting your job and walking into the unknown you know sometimes letting go of a job that's really causing more problems than it's worth is not a bad thing uh, but it does look like you have been working on some things that make you frustrated and angry and you're leaving them behind as you're embracing new ways of doing things and going into the unknown. So it does look like you took a big old leap of faith. The fool is here to kind of validate that. And you still may be reeling on what your next step is, but, you know, a different view can promote different ideas. So it does look like you have successfully walked away from something and left a, a lot of either frustration, pain, anguish in the past. Um, and you're walking into the unknown. So congratulations. That's always a little scary, Leo. The two is here. The two uh, of cups and cups are emotions. Cups can be love. So this Maybe um, either releasing a love, taking a look at how to improve a love or opening up to embrace a new love. But this insignia, this medical insignia is here. It does feel like you were a bit heart sick over the majority of this year in some way, whether it is mourning someone who has left the planet or trying to work out a relationship that is like going nowhere or just being sad about not having a partner, but it does look like you are actively healing that heart space and that you have released whatever uh, people, places, or things that were causing you some of these, um, these frustrations and anger. So it does look like you have moved that out, but it was a main focus most of the year for you. And now it looks like you're in the releasing stage, kind of like in the brand new stage, walking into the unknown. The Empress is here. She can stand for, um, you know, she's watches things grow. So she can stand for pregnancy. Uh, she can stand for, you know, starting something new and watching it grow, but she is also a nurturer, just like the queen of pentacles and, um, kind of like the mother goddess type of thing. So for those of you who do not want to create babies, be aware, uh, does feel like a very fertile time for you. So, um, 
If you don't want to create that, do what you can to prevent it. But for the most part, it does feel like there is new beginnings that you are nurturing um, and excited about seeing what the newness will bring. This female insignia is lighting up for me, so it does feel like you may be re reconnecting either with someone from the past or um, embracing um, new female friends or just connecting with the women in your life. Um, so that is the Empress in present time. The Fool is here. This is a great card. This is the beginning of the journey. This, you know, the story of Tarot is uh, the story of the Fool. He is the zero. This is where it all begins. So by walking away from things that didn't work for you anymore, taking that leap of faith um, has brought new beginnings for you. It's a, there's a little bit of uncertainty, a little bit of fear around it, but you are taking the steps to walk into the unknown. Um, anyway, so it does look like you have taken a chance. You have taken a leap of faith. The fool can also be there as a warning. Don't make the same mistakes twice, but for the most part, it's take a leap of faith. Um, and having faith in yourself, kind of minimizing all of that negative talk in between your, your ears and just um, know you're exactly where you're supposed to be and that you are enough. Okay, Leo, the Ace of Pentacles is down here. The Aces are Aha cards and the God cards. It's the Hand of God card as well. Um, Pentacles are earthbound things, so this feels actually like new opportunities kind of being handed to you, whether it's, you know, you hear about a new place to live or, or jobs. It does feel like it's more on the uh, money-making uh, side of life. So uh, are you turning a passion into your career um, or just looking for a new career? But it does feel like uh, spirit is guiding you to exactly where you need to be. So once again, don't give up before the miracle happens and it will be shown to you. It's right at the basis here and it's right underneath the queen of wands. And of course, wands are Leo's or fire signs in general, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this really does feel like it represents you, even if you are in a male earth suit. Um, it is right along the line of the fool and the love. So it's really about being patient for yourself, having patience for yourself and the journey and have a little motion. Don't sit in the fear so much, you know, move forward, send out those resumes, pick up the phone, talk to uh, the people that you haven't talked to in ages, put a little motion behind your desires and they will manifest because you have a lot of the Manifest cards. This is most definitely one of the manifest cards. So don't be afraid to try a new road. Um, don't be afraid to try a new road. And if that one doesn't work, you can always turn around and try another one. But don't lose the faith in yourself is what the feeling is. Um, it may not be happening as quickly as you want it to, uh, but don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep moving forward. But it does require a little, um, a little effort on on your part. So and a little follow up as well is what it's feeling like. The King of Pentacles is here. This can be an Earth sign. This is a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, this feels like it is someone who may be offering some of this to you. So this may be a, a potentially a new boss. This could be uh, someone you work with now. This does really feel like on uh, the making money aspect of life. So if it isn't a job, it may be someone who's just offering you something within your passions to make money. But it does look like uh, both these pentacles are in, um, it feels like they're in a very helpful position. Uh, this king of pentacles, feels very helpful um, as well as the queen of pentacles for so ask for what you need leo uh, don't be afraid to ask for what you need but this does feel like there is uh, a little bit of static between some of your communications with this king of pentacles so um See if you can step out of it, clear your head before you uh, com communicate again. But it does look like um, these are helpful 
people. So don't be afraid to ask for help. People are, are really willing to help you. You guys are the over helpful type of sign. So it's time for you to embrace receiving a little bit. There is also a Knight of Pentacles. So you've got two Pentacles right here. This feels like, um, doesn't feel like a person. This feels like uh, it require. This is more of a validation on the movement and moving some things and being diligent and following up and uh, following um, the right formula, following the right formula to achieve whatever that you are trying to achieve, achieve. So don't give up in the middle. Keep going, even if it's hard to do. It does look like um, you're kind of hitting this a little bit of frustration. And if you need to take some time off for the holidays, do so. So you can come back to it um, with fresh eyes and rejuvenated. But it does look like some motion is being asked of you uh, by this Knight of Pentacles. To the left of it is the temperance that's uh, finding balance. It's also about um, being realistic. It's also about realistic expectations. Um, and what I'm feeling is that don't be so hard on yourself is what's coming to me, Leo. Don't be so darn hard on yourself. Be as kind to yourself as you are to others. It also feels like you have poured your energy into other people's cups first before you have poured the energy into yours. So be aware that if you keep um, over gifting other people without without looking and dealing with what you need to deal with first and foremost, it does feel like um, some resentment may come up. These red wings are kind of lighting up for me and spirit is telling me that's a little bit of resentment. And it also can facilitate physical illness if you are not doing what you need to do in order to um, be balanced in your life. So your needs should come first and foremost. It is not a selfish thing to do to put yourself first. That is how we survive. And then we can gift whatever we have left. But don't gift all of your energy to others because your body will take um, the toll from that decision. The other side of it is the hangman. It does feel like an aha moment. It is on the other side of this, this physical challenge that has been created. So it does look like you've had to change your modus operandi, how you do things. So putting yourself first feels very, very selfish to you, but it really isn't. Take care of your creature comfort needs first. And the hangman is when you look at life completely different. You may have, you know, the first 20, 30 years of your life operated this way. And then all of a sudden realized, you know what? that's really not productive or healthy for me. So let me let this go. Let me let this expectation go. Let me float a little bit. But it does look like you have uh, consciously chosen a different way to live your life, which actually feels a little bit more beneficial to you and a little healthier. So that is your general reading, sweet Leo, for the month of December. I'm going to throw a couple of these Past life cards. These are Doreen Virtue as well. And this is like one word card. Oh, there's two right there. Okay. Lessons and blessings and persecution and inquisition. Yes. So do not persecute your persecute yourself if you have made mistakes. That is how we learn. That is how we uh, move along in life and really grow is by making mistakes, by falling down and picking ourselves up all by yourself. So don't be so hard on yourself and others. Lighten up and go with the flow a little bit. Lessons and blessings. You've had just a huge aha moment with these lessons and blessings. Um, and um, so it's, con it's a continuation. And it's really about um, putting into action all that you have learned over the last couple of months. I know you've done some releasing here. So what does that next next part of your life look like. So um, incorporate those lessons and blessings a little bit more and add some action, add some action, Leo. And I think you will see a lot more uh, productivity in your life and a lot more um, answers come to you once you put a little motion behind these great ideas and ask for help if you need it.